And next step, we're going to take a look at the settings inside of Build-A-Game. So let's go ahead and select on the settings icon. And inside settings, we have our top bar here that gives us a list of all the things that we can adjust. The first one is going to let us know a little bit about the software, and it lets us know that we are Build-A-Game Universe, we're version 1.0. Next to that, we have our joystick. And the joystick, this is basically our control setups. So whether it's our keyboard, whether our mouse, or our controller, we can set up our own custom bindings to each one of these. At the top, what you'll notice is that we can also define this per player. So up to eight players. We can do a controller so that we can remove controllers, calibrate, assign controllers. We can also go in and on the categories, we can use the editor settings so we can adjust all of the uh, key bindings for the editor. We can also adjust them for the game mode and then per tile type, so for the player, for the weapon, for the camera, etc., all the way through. And you can set those up to be specific to the type that you want to use. Next, we have our audio. And in the audio, we can adjust the volume for the game music and for the game sound, as well as for the editor music and the editor sound. Next is our visual settings. So we can set the resolution of the screen from right here. We can set this to whatever um, screen resolution that you're going to be using. Whether or not we're full screen on or off, whether or not we were using our V-Sync on or off, whether we have anti-aliasing on, we can set that to whatever variable that we can support with our card. And then our texture size, we can use either the small size or up to the large size. And then the next part, in the settings option we have a restart level, a next level, and a main menu. And these will come up while you're actually playing in your game. Our link section, this is where we have links to things that are useful for the Build-A-Game universe. And then next is our bug reporting. In the bug reporting basically it's going to pop up a window that asks you which way you want to send an email and then it's going to send an email to us for the bug reports. Alright, that does it for our settings for Build-A-Game. And be sure to check them out, try them out, adjust the settings so that you can get just the right experience that you want to have.